Dog won't stop nudging her owner before the real danger finally sinks in. In the exhausting, often frustrating world of cancer research, creativity is key. The clues scientists continue to find on their search for a cure are consistently in places that no one else would ever think to look. The arid rocks of the Atacama Desert and the slimy Bahama seabeds, for example. But what if the key to detecting cancer was right in your very own home? Perhaps even chewing on your very own slippers. Claire Guest knows a thing or two about these friendly slipper chewers. She's always seen something in our four-legged friends that others couldn't, an intelligence that goes far beyond fetching and sitting and staying. It's this something that fascinates her and that ended up saving her life. Claire was at the park with her golden retriever, Daisy, when something unexpected happened. Daisy refused to walk, choosing instead to nudge her nose against Claire's chest. Immediately, Claire knew something was very, very wrong. As an animal behaviorist, Claire was an expert on Daisy's normal and abnormal behaviors. Refusing to follow directions? This was totally abnormal for the highly trained Daisy. But Claire couldn't figure out why, until she started to feel a pain in her chest. Specifically, she found a lump on her breast, precisely where Daisy had been nudging her. One mammogram and biopsy later, Claire was relieved to find out that the lump was just a cyst, until she received a terrifying call from her doctor. The first thing that came into my head was the anxious look Daisy had given me when she was bumping her nose into my chest, Claire later wrote. As it turned out, Daisy was right to be anxious. Further tests confirmed Claire's greatest fear. A small tumor was discovered deep inside her chest wall. If she hadn't gotten those tests, if Daisy hadn't continuously nudged Claire's chest, she would have gone untreated for years. As she underwent radiation treatment, Claire came to a single conclusion. Daisy's warning had saved my life, Claire knew. She's been in remission for almost a decade and her experience was the motivation she needed to turn a special side project of hers into a full-fledged quest for a miracle. Claire had always been fascinated with dogs, especially with their noses. Their sense of smell far surpasses that of humans and Claire realized something life-changing. It was Daisy's highly attuned nose that picked up the scent of the tumor. With her experience in mind, Claire co-founded Medical Detection Dogs, a charitable foundation that trains dogs to detect odors. Not just any odors, though. They could be trained to smell the scent of an oncoming seizure, low or high blood sugar, and yes, perhaps even cancer. Cancer-detecting dogs weren't exactly a huge subject 10 years ago, so Claire and other interested researchers began trying to fill in the blanks. They hoped to find something conclusive, but the results they found were beyond anything they could have imagined. A 2004 study found that dogs had a 40% success rate in identifying bladder cancer, a staggering difference from the 14% success rate of usual detection. Some dogs can even sniff out the equivalent of a teaspoon of sugar in two Olympic-sized swimming pools. What we do know is that this is real, Claire asserted. Cancer-detecting dogs are possible. And it obviously wasn't very long before the fascinating data caught the eyes of two American researchers with a passion for off-kilter projects. Andreas Mershen and Wen Yi Li were on the lookout for unique ways to approach cancer research, and the data collected about cancer-sniffing pups captured their attention right away. But as mentioned, the research was scant, so they started from the beginning. For centuries, humans have used dogs' natural abilities for their own benefit, especially for their olfactory senses. But harnessing these dogs' sniffing skills wouldn't be as easy as teaching them to sniff out bombs or drugs. Training dogs to detect potential cancers costs upwards of $25,000, a hefty price that many researchers felt wasn't backed by the data. So the first half of the equation was training dogs to be as accurate as possible. The second half? That was a little trickier. When cancer cells are present, they interfere with normal metabolic processes in your body and end up producing volatile organic compounds, or VOCs. These are either exhaled or excreted in urine, and apparently only certain creatures can pick up their scent. Understandably, it's harder to train dogs to pick up the scent of VOCs than of something tangible, like a bomb. And given how expensive it is to train these dogs, it makes us wonder, 
If only there was a way to cut out the middleman, or in this case, the middle dog. What we're trying to understand from the dogs is how they look at the data that they are collecting so we can copy it, Mershon explained. Trained dogs have detected prostate cancer with 90% accuracy, and Mershon wants to replicate this with his own aptly named device, the Nano Nose. Mershon hopes that the Nano Nose will take over for the costly dogs while making cancer detection less expensive, more accurate, and less invasive. But as with anything worthwhile, the Nano Nose has been tricky to bring to life. What we are lacking is artificial dog intelligence, Mershon said. As of right now, his device has the same sensitivity to odors as a dog, but still can't identify that specific cancer smell in individual patients. Still, there may be hope elsewhere. While Mershon works on his dog, AI, Lee is making strides in her own laboratory. Her team has created a kit similar to that of a home pregnancy test, but for the detection of prostate cancer. It's innovative and convenient, but its most important feature is its accuracy. If dogs can do it, we can do it better, was Lee's mantra, as she worked to bring her vision to life. Her kits have a 92% accuracy with urine samples, and all because of the research she conducted of a dog's olfactory system. And to think, it all started with Daisy. Half of humanity's deaths are from chronic diseases, and what the dogs are showing is a whole new way of understanding holistic diseases of the system," Mershon explained.